this video we'll be solving a very important numerical related to the joint distribution topic so the problem statement says that a fake coin is tossed thrice and a random variable x and y are defined as x is equal to 0 when it is head and 1 when it is tail occurring on the first toss and y is number of heads so we have to calculate or find out the distribution of x and y joint distribution covariance and correlation firstly let us take s as the sample space of uh, the the outcomes occurring and x and y be the random variables random variable so the coin is tossed thrice so there are three, uh, you know, combinations. There are three outcomes and outcome. There are three outcomes and two power three combinations. So two power three combinations can be written in this way: head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, head, tail, 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 head, head, t h t t t h and t t t. So x is defined as zero when it is head on the first toss. So here first toss we have head so it will be 0 0 0 0 and from here first toss is tail so 1 1 1 1 and y is number of y is number of heads they have given. So here how many heads are there 3 heads are there here 2 heads are there here 2 heads and here 1 head here 2 heads here 1 head here 1 head and here there are no heads at all. So we have uh, written the table. Now from this table we can find out the range of x and y. So the range of x is from 0 to 1 and the range of y is from or the values, the, the unique values are from 0, 1, 2 and 3. So firstly let's write the distribution of x and y. So when p of x is equal to 0, when x is equal to 0, how many uh, combinations ho or how many outputs are uh, occur occurring? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, right? So 4 by 8, that is 1 by 2. When x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1, there are 4 outputs. So 4 possibilities of our outputs. So 4 by 8, 1 by 2. So distribution of x, we have found out that when it is 0 or 1, f of x would be 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. Now writing for y, when p of y value is 0, when y value is 0, only 1, only 1 possibility is there, that is 1 by 8. When p of y value is 1, 1, 2, 3, that is 3 by 8. When p of y value is 2, that is 1, 2, 3, again 3 by 8. When p of y value is 3, only one possibility is there, that is 1 by 8. So writing table for y, 0, 1, 2 and 3. And here let's write g of y, that will be for 0 it is 1 by 8, here 3 by 8, here 3 by 8 and here 1 by 8. So we have, we have written the distribution of x and y. Our next step is to calculate the joint distribution of x and y. That is f of xi comma yi should xi comma yj should be equal to j of i and j. So here we have x values as uh, x1 is 0 and x2 is 1. Whereas y1 is 0, y2 is 1 y3 is 2 and y4 is 3. So first let's start with x1 and y1. When uh, the first x value is 0 and y value is 0, j11 would be 0 because there is no probability that both are zeros here. So next x1 and y2, 0, 1. So we have only one possibility when it is uh, 0 and 1 that is HTT HTT 0 and 1 is there HTT so HTT that is 1 by 8 X1 Y3 when X value is 0 and Y value is 2 we have two possibilities that is head head and tail and head tail head 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 and tail and head tail head so that is 
टू बाई एट और वन बाई फोर दिस इज जे वन वन दिस इज जे वन टू दिस इज जे वन थ्री दट इज वन बाई फोर नाउ लुकिंग एट जे टू वन दैट इज एक्स टू वाई वन एक्स टू इज वन एंड वाई वन इज जीरो सो वी हैव ओनली वन पॉसिबिलिटी दैट इज टेल 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 दैट इज वन बाई एट फॉर जे टू टू इट इज फॉर जे टू टू इट इज एक्स टू एंड वाई टू एक्स टू इज वन एंड वाई टू इज वन एक्स टू वन वाई टू वन दैट इज वी हैव टेल हेड टेल एंड टेल टेल हेड दैट इज टू बाई एट दैट इज वन बाई फोर जे टू थ्री वुड बी एक्स टू वाई थ्री दैट इज वन कॉमा टू वी हैव टेल हेड हेड of this combination that is वन by एट at j टू फोर वी हैव एक्स टू एंड वाई फोर दैट इज वन कॉमा थ्री एंड देर इज नो कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ वन कॉमा थ्री इन द टेबल गिवन सो नेक्स्ट वी हैव एक्स वन फॉर जे वन फोर वी हैव एक्स वन एंड वाई फोर दैट इज जीरो कॉमा थ्री जीरो कॉम थ्री वी हैव ओनली वन कॉम्बिनेशन हियर दैट इज हेड 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 दैट इज वन बाई एट सो फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ दिस डेटा ऑप्टेन वी कैन ड्रॉ द जॉइंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल सो हियर वाई वैल्यूज इन दिस साइड वाई वैल्यूज एंड दिस साइड एक्स वैल्यूज सो एक्स वन इज जीरो एक्स टू इज वन and here y values we have y1 is 0 y2 is 1 y3 is 2 and y4 is 3 so filling the values 0 1 by 8 1 by 4 and 1 by 8 here 1 by 8 1 by 4 1 by 8 0 Here one by eight, three by eight, three by eight, and one by eight. So now from this table, let's write the marginal distributions quickly. So the marginal distributions of x and y. First for x, it would be marginal distribution of x would be for like f of x one would be. Adding all this, here let's write f of x. So, one by eight plus one by four plus one by eight is equal to one by two. So here one by two. Then similarly, f of x two also one by two. X two also one by two. So these values are g of y. I have directly written the values. So for g of y one, you would add. One by eight plus zero, that is one by eight only. And next, g of y two would be one by eight plus one by four, that is three by eight. G of y three would be one by eight plus zero, that is one by eight. So I have written the values here. So these are the marginal values of g of y, and these are the marginal values of f of x. so if you add all of this you'll get one and if you add these two you'll get one so this is our uh, joint distribution table now let's look into calculation of covariance and correlation here i've written the table again let's first go with the covariance cov of xy is equal to e expectation of xy minus e of x to e of y let's take this as equation 1 So first, calculating the e x value expectation of x that would be x one into f of x one, x two into f of x two. Zero into one by two is zero, plus one into one by two is one by two. That is one by two. E of y if we calculate y one into g of y one, y two plus g, y two into g of y two plus y three into g of y three, plus y four into g of y four. So it would be zero. Plus three by eight, plus three to the six by eight, plus three by eight, 
so if we solve this we get 3 by 2 now we have e of x y e of x y is x1 y1 j11 x1 y2 j12 so 0 into 0 into 0 is 0 plus 0 and 0 into anything is 0 and this is also 0 this would also be 0 and this would also be 0 so this x1 entire thing would be 0 now let's move on to this part so it will be 1 into 0 into 1 by 8 that is 0 again now here 1 into 1 into 1 by 4 that is 1 by 4 1 into 2 into 1 by 8 is 2 by 8 1 into 3 is 3 3 into 0 is 0 so if you add this you will get 1 by 2 now let's substitute the value of e of x y e of x and e of y in this first equation which would be covariance of x y is equal to 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 which would be minus 1 by 4 so we have found out the value of covariance as minus 1 by 4 next let's write correlation correlation is equal to covariance of x y by sigma x sigma y let's take this as equation 2 so firstly sigma x is under root of v of x and v of x value can be written as expectation of x x square minus e of x whole square we know e of x value is e of x value is 1 by 2 we don't know the value of e of x square e of x square can be written as x1 square f of x1 x2 square f of x2 x1 square is 0 square into 1 by 2 is 0 and x2 square that is 1 square into 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 here 1 by 2 here so here we have it as e x square is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 whole square that is 1 by 4 so sigma x would be under root of 1 by 4 it is 1 by 2 now now writing the sigma y value that is under root of v of y v of y can be further written as e of y square minus e of y whole square we know e of y value is 3 by 2 but we don't know the value of e of y whole square which can be written as y1 square g of y1 plus y2 square g of y2 plus y3 square g of y3 plus y4 square g of y4 that is 0 into 1 by 8 plus 1 into 3 by 8 plus 4 into 3 by 8 plus 9 by 8 so all this you will get the answer as 3 substituting the values here 3 minus 3 by 2 whole square that is 3 by 4 so sigma y would be under root 3 by 4 that is 0 0.8660 now Substituting the values of sigma x and sigma y in correlation formula which would result as COV a correlation of xy is equal to covariance of xy is we know minus 1 by 4 so minus 1 by 4 by this is 1 by 2 into 0 0.8660 so if you solve this further you will get minus 1 by root 3 it is minus 0 0.5774 so i hope you have understood how to solve this question if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel